Uh, good. Good afternoon, uh, members of the committee, uh, Chairman Ram and De Gra, uh, Ranking Members Fazio and Zulu, uh, members of the Planning and Development Committee. Uh, I'm John Board, a uh, Commission Member on the uh, Connecticut's Development of Future Municipalities. Uh, I'm working with uh, Representative McCarthy Vehi. Uh, I'm here to testify in favor uh, of the bill today. Uh, I'll let you guys read through my testimony accordingly, but um, I believe that this bill uh, is a good bill, but there is some sections that I think can be improved uh, moving forward, specifically relating to the public engagement period and the legislature review period. Uh, both of these uh, join the commission's uh, deliberations. I uh, raised, uh, even though I voted in favor uh, of recommending uh, of the f uh, recommendation package. Um, dealing with sections uh, line 102 to 108 regarding public feedback and the legislative review timeline, which I think is the more concerning uh, aspect here because it actually hampers uh, your leadership uh, in terms of when uh, a bill can be uh, called forward. Uh, one final item that I would like to highlight for you is in our working group's report, uh, section 3AB, uh, with amending the growth uh, management principles with the inclusion of fiscal impact of land use language. Uh, I think this is something that will uh, provide a more holistic and interdisciplinary approach uh, to both CND plans and PCOD plans. Uh, I would strongly urge uh, the committee to continue to examine uh, fiscal impacts uh, of land use and fiscal impacts overall. And with that, I will answer any questions which members of the committee may have. Thank you. Thank you so much for your testimony. Representative McCarthy Vahey. I thank you for your indulgence, Madam Chair. And I just want to say also thank you to John for your good work on the um, working group and as part of the commission as a whole. And um, just to note that I will highlight, we didn't have unanimous agreement. We had consensus that we reached in the end um, and we wanted to make sure that we highlighted some of those areas. And I appreciate the fact that you've come today um, to share that. I think broadly speaking, we were able to get to a place of agreement, but I appreciate you being here today and all the good work that you've done. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Seeing no other questions at this time. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Rep. Senator Fascio. Thank you, sir, for your testimony. Um, and, and just to clarify, your your suggestions are, I presume, uh, to make the public engagement period or, uh, remain at five months. Correct. We and, and we, make the the time for the um for the legis. Uh, for, for, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No. Uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, yes. Uh, let's keep it. In my opinion, let's keep it four months with the public engagement process, and then extend it. Uh, you know, six or seven months. So, uh, so then you have, so then both you and your leadership teams have the full legislative session for any uh, vote to uh, not approve. One thing that I will note is that uh, the the commit uh, the commission uh, recommended a vote to only uh, to only disapprove if it uh, if legislate if the one hundred. I think correct me if I'm wrong, Representative. I think it's 120 days. Uh, if that time lapses, then it's de uh, deemed approved. Uh, so it would only be a, a vote to disapprove of a plan. I, I may be mi mistaken there, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm right. We can correct that for the record. That is later. Hopefully, that's what my notes say, but uh, I, I not, I'm not sure. But to, to answer your question, I would. Uh, I think having that full legislature session is the. Uh, right right time so i would err on the side of seven months just to be uh, on the safe side thank you sir representative mccarthy Vahey for the second time to clear the record <laughs> thank you no i don't I, it's not about clearing the record i want to say thank you madam chair um and yes this was a good conversation i just want to just for those who are um new to the pocd adoption process perhaps or might have forgotten I'm um, wondering if you can just remind all of us why we had that conversation yeah. about the deemed approved, not not so much about us as a legislature not having agency, but 
If you can elaborate on that, I would really appreciate it just for those watching. No, absolutely, uh, Representative, and uh, thanks for the question. Uh, the, deemed, the deemed approved discussion, once again, was something that was, uh, shall we say, hotly debated, not hotly debated, but I think uh, there was a lot of discussion around. Uh, the reason why was actually because of the situation uh, we've recently found ourselves in, uh, where basically, I'll say for lack of a better word, COVID got the best, the best of us in terms of timing as a, uh, as a state in terms of approving. So it's really how I interpret it as a way for us to not be behind the eight ball. Do I personally, do I think it's a problem that, uh, that it's only a deemed, uh, a vote net, uh, not approval vote? Yes. I believe everything should be either an up or down vote, uh, accordingly, but, uh, once again, we 90, 95% of the recommendations coming out of here were consensus based and it, uh, and that's how things should operate, uh, at the end of the day. Thank you for that answer. And thank you, because you can see that we absolutely not everyone had, um, agreement. We certainly had, it was more than just COVID in terms of difficulty getting the state plan of conservation mm -hmm. and development approved by the full legislature and it impacted agencies ability to utilize that plan in making decisions, uh, land use decisions and determinations. And part of the conversation that we had was, was really about, you know, the utility of the document. And that's where so many of these recommendations um, come from. But I really, again, thank you for your answers and being here today. And Madam Chair, thank you for allowing me to speak again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Board, for your testimony. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Representative.